What's up guys? In this video, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about my favorite 22, and that is the Heritage Rough Rider. These are a very popular pistol for folks who enjoy shooting the 22. Heritage comes out all the time with some just absolutely beautiful firearms. Uh, you can see here, this is my Annie Oakley. Uh, this is one that has been on the channel recently, uh, you know, in other videos. And it is an absolutely beautiful firearm. This is one that my daughter absolutely insisted that I buy. Uh, we were at the gun store one night. She seen it. And, you know, we had seen it there a time or two before. But this night, it finally just came home with me. Very good looking gun. Of course, we have the more traditional cowboy action heritage. Again, this is another very beautiful gun. Uh, it is one that I have had for several years. This one has been in many previous videos, so go back and check them out. What I wanted to do is to talk with you all about a feature, or I should say, and not an issue, but something that you need to be aware of when it comes to the safety when shooting these little fun 22s. For the most part, these guns are safe. However, you need to, of course, follow all of the firearm safety rules. And there's another very interesting point that you need to be aware of when talking about these guns. Now, the Heritage Rough Riders do come with a safety. Okay, you can see here just this lever. You can flip it down for fire. And of course, you can flip it up for safe. And I want to show you what it does. It is a hammer block safety. You can see here with it flipped up that the hammer has will not go all the way forward. Okay, that is as far as it's going to go. Now, if I flip that safety down, that is going to allow that hammer to fall all the way forward. Now, there's a very important reason why I wanted to take a minute to talk about this gun. Because there's a lot of folks that will go out and shoot these guns or they will load these guns, which again, you load them uh, a very traditional way. You've got the loading gate here uh, that also serves as where you would eject the spent casings, okay? And you will load them very traditional cowboy way and, you know, before you shoot them. Now, one thing that you want to be aware of, if you are going to load a total of six rounds in your heritage, if you're going to load it completely to its capacity, you need to be aware of the fact that the firing pin will go forward and actually push a you know into one of the cartridges. Now, what I mean by that, I'm just going to take the cylinder out for a minute to show you. Okay, this is something that you need to be aware of if you like shooting these guns. You need to be aware of this. Okay, now when I allow that hammer to go all the way forward, you can see that the firing pin is protruding through the gun. Okay, if I had my safety block in place and I allow that to go forward, of course, it is not going to allow that firing pin to protrude through. Okay, but if I disengage it, there it is. Okay, so if you completely load your cylinder, okay, if you put all six shots in this and then lower that hammer, you're actually going to be lowering the hammer on the, you know, right directly on the rim of a cartridge. And anything that hits this can make that go off. Okay, so that is something that you do need to be aware of. These guns are a lot of fun to shoot. They're very enjoyable. I have gone through boxes of ammo with these things. Uh, but that is something that you definitely need to be aware of. Okay, so you don't want to cause a, a, a negligent discharge or do anything that could harm someone by not following some of your basic safety protocols, particularly when dealing with these. Okay, if you are not going to be shooting, but you have that cylinder loaded, go ahead, have that safety engaged. That way that hammer will not fall and drive that pin into a cartridge. Okay, again, if you have that safety off and you just allow that hammer to go forward, you are going to put that firing pin directly on a cartridge and you run the risk of something bad happening. But guys, 
you know, if you are someone that enjoys these guns the way that I do, that's something that you should know about. If it's you're someone that is new to firearms, that's something that you definitely want to be cautious about. Okay, but guys, I hope you liked the video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, do you ever shoot any of these pistols? Uh, is there a favorite style of them that you have that you enjoy shooting? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, these are my two favorites here. I know they make several different ones, but I really love these two. The Annie Oakley as well as the more traditional. I know they've got tons of them out there, longer barrels and stuff like that, but you know, these are just my favorites. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Check out all of the links down in the description below. I will put some links to some gear, uh, some different supplies and things like that down there. You can kind of help support the channel. Check out the merch shelf where I've got t-shirts and other things listed as well. But guys, thanks for watching. Visit my website at boomsticktactical.com, and we'll see you next time.